All right. So I want to start out by telling my testimony. And this sermon is called From Competition to Community. And basically, there was a time when I had seen, like I had felt like, uh, and really just because of the way it was presented, uh, I felt like respecting leadership, and this is how, how the devil really perverts people's thinking, is I felt like, if you, like, the, I felt like it was more authoritarian, if you will. Uh, uh, this was a while back, and now the Lord has shown me that it's really all about community. And thank you, Lord, that he has... I've been praying about this for a while. He is beginning to break my pride. Which pride is what is in this generation a lot. Amen? Amen. And so... Um, and there's a lot of competition in the body of Christ yep. as well. You know, there's a lot of, is my doctrine right? Is your doctrine right? Is my way of deli doing deliverance right? Or is yours way, way right? Or, you know, it's just a whole bunch of competition. And, and so I'm just so in awe of how the Lord, my words are poor tonight. <laughs> How the Lord uh, is putting this together to where it's not just me preaching, but as I mentioned previously to those of you that are not, that didn't hear is online, is this is like the older generation mentoring the younger generation. And so I would encourage any of you that are listening tonight that are Christians listening, or even or just anybody, it doesn't matter who you are, if you've got something that you would like to, like a, a word of advice or a word of whatever, feel free to comment on the podcast and on, on YouTube. Feel free to let us know what is it that is on your heart. So, Pastor Mickey, will you open us up in prayer? Yes. Yeah. Dear Father, first of all, I want to thank you, dear God, for this day, Lord. And I, I pray, Lord, for for the for the millennials, oh dear God, Lord. They're they're the your chosen ones, oh God. Those are the ones, God, yes, that you're going to use to turn this nation around, and not only this nation, but you're going to turn this world around, oh God. So, Lord, I ask for an anointing upon the speaker tonight, dear God, that you would just touch her that you would just bless her with a double portion, God, and that you would all give us an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church, oh God. And I ask this blessing in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord. Amen. 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 And Lord, I add to that and I say, Lord, unite the millennials and the just all of the generations together. <coughs> Amen. And anoint all of our ears and all of our, our mouths, yes, Lord. Amen. That Holy Spirit, go deep. You know, just bring something up, bring advice up, Lord, that, you know, just will help, will will penetrate deeply into the heart. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So our first scripture is found in Isaiah 11, verses 1 to 5. It says, There shall come forth a, a rod... From the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. His delight is in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge by the sight of his ears, I mean eyes, sorry, nor decide by the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness, he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth 
and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his loins, and faithfulness the belt of his waist. Amen. And this is speaking of Jesus, but we are the body of Christ, and he is wisdom. Amen. 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 And so I want to present a different perspective. You know, we, we know that the Holy Spirit leads us into all truth, right? Right. And we know that as we read the word ourselves, we can get, you know, whether you pray in tongues or you just pray and say, Lord, show me what it is you want me to know or whatever. How, whatever your way of communicating with the Lord is, we all are able to receive from the Holy Spirit, right? Amen. Right. But here's the point that I feel like stress. I needed to stress, which is when we gather together, mm -hmm. get this, there's the fullness of wisdom because we're the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. and, and I think, you know, and to stop for a minute, if you look at the book of Acts, which I would encourage you, to read the book of Acts for like further study. Time and time again, they put it in the context of community where they broke bread and they listened to the apostles teaching. And you know, it, it, it wasn't really a lot of room for me-centered thinking, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And in Proverbs, this is our next scripture, Proverbs 15, Verse 22. Without counsel, plans go array, but in the multitude of counselors, they are established. And I want to give you an illustration as to what this looks like, because a lot of times we think, well, our, let me just say, our, our, at least my thinking on this was not right. But it's like, let's say you're starting out on a new assignment. You know, like, like in the context of this church, let's say uh, Pastor Judy planted a church, you know, has had experience in planting a church, and she sent you out to plant one. But you're like, okay, well, what's my first step? Well, you could talk with her, get counsel from her. Um, and then also... Other things, other, you know, say you've got a business deal that you got to do and you don't know how to accomplish it. Well, you can call someone you trust that knows how to do that business deal and they can walk you through it. This, this, this is kind of... Call Tim. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, you know, just speaking mainly for those online, you know. Oh, yeah. But just someone that... Someone that you know, and this is what I mean by it's a context of community. It's not like, um, it's not like the person you're getting counsel from is gonna say you have to do what I say. You know, it's you're just you're getting you you know you're getting advice from people that that know what that have more experience and know how to do what you are trying to do. Right, and then. In Proverbs 2, verses 1 to 8, it says, My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom, and apply your heart to understanding, yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver and search for her as hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk uprightly. He guards the path of, the path of justice and preserves the way of his saints. And so, when you, to treasure commands within us is more, it's more like your, your dad 
tells you, you know, advice. Or, well, it could it could be like two things. Hey, son, or hey, daughter, whatever words they use. Don't don't like when you ride your bike. Make sure that you're within sight distance. Make sure that I can see you. It could be something as simple as that. Or, you know, like I said a while ago about advice. It's simply saying, don't be unteachable. Right. Make yeah. sure, you know, from experience, <laughs> I've actually slipped and accidentally said this one time, but <laughs> I would ask for advice. <laughs> and, and, and it would just go in one ear and out the other. In what? In one ear and out the other. Right. And and uh, so you want to make sure that you at least pray about it, like gather it and and. But actually, here's what I started doing. When if if I didn't know something, and you know, say Pastor Mickey had more experience about it or had you know whatever, then I would say, Lord. Yes, I'm going to continue learning, but I'm going to adopt his opinion for now. I'm going to adopt what he's taught me for now. And then we can expound on it as we study the word. Pretty cool, huh? Amen. That's, well, and, and not to brag on me, but it's just like, it, that came out wrong. But it's more like this, this that's, the, that's a good way of this might what I would advise right. is uh, and I think I don't think this is a sermon tonight I think this is more like a discussion yeah teaching discussion so, I like it um, so instead of standing I'm going to sit and in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 12 to 19 Bear with me, guys. My words are a little different tonight. Um, it says, and it's uh, 1 Corinthians 12, 12 to 19. It says, For as the body is one and has many members, but all the members of that one body being, mem being many are one body, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Greek, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, and all have been made to drink into one spirit. For in fact, the body is not one member, but many. If the, if the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear should say, Because I am not an eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where would be the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where would be the smelling? Mm -hmm. But now God has set the members, each one of them, in the body, just as he, and mark the word he in your Bibles, pleased. And if they were all one member, where would the body be? And I want to just challenge myself, I want to challenge all of us that we cannot be like, we can't be competitive and say, well, my way is better, or, you know, or you know, we just, we have to learn to say, this is what, from my experience, I know works. But I know that God has called other people to do this in different in a different way, and their, may, their way may work. And I need to learn to accept that. Right. Amen. Amen. Good wisdom. Yeah. And, wisdom. you know, and, and, so, and like, this is like stuff that, we all know in our head, and I and I've known in my head for a while, but 
it's easy to accept it in your head and not your heart. It just takes a long time. So it's like that's why I'm like, yeah, we need to have this discussion so that we, and, and I would encourage you, those of you online that are listening, if you're having trouble with what, like putting into practice what we are discussing, then, okay, I'm just making sure I'm not rambling on or anything. <laughs> But uh, if you're having trouble with what we're discussing, I would encourage you to just pray, Lord, break my pride. Make me humble. Help me to, to follow this, to do this. Does anyone have any comments so far? Like any advice that you want to add to that? Well, I, I like the part that you, you know, you're, you're kind of making it like bringing it to the community versus just being one person it, it's it's trying to get feedback and and buying from everybody which i think is real good thanks yeah because the lord's teaching me too i don't you know i i'm the type i don't want to teach theory or just what i've learned from the lord i want to i want to bring experience to the table to where people that are listening online are getting more than just what, you know, my perspective they're actually can glean from others. Right. Now, 1 Corinthians 12, verses 22 to 27 says, No, much rather, those members of the body which seem to be weaker are necessary, and those members of the body which we think to be less honorable on these we bestow greater honor, and our unpresentable parts have greater modesty, but our presentable parts have no need. But God composed the body, having given greater on honor to that part which lacks it, that there should be no schisms, and I would encourage you to underline schisms in your Bible, mm -hmm. that there should be no schisms in the body but that the members should have the same care for one another. Amen. And if one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. Or if one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now you are the body of Christ and members individually. And I want to tell you a story. I, I heard this from a guy... Uh, that I was actually doing some research. Uh, his name is Grant Skeldon. Um, and you can find him on YouTube. And he told a story of a guy that was helping, I think he was helping the poor. And this guy said, he called his pastor because he hadn't been in church in a few weeks. And I think he had also was talking about, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to help out the church in some way. But the pastor's response was, "No, you keep doing what you're doing. You're helping out the kingdom." And and when I heard that, I, that stuck with me. Like, wow. Can anyone tell me like some examples of what it means to honor the the weaker, like in the body of Christ? To honor the weaker? Yeah, I like to honor the weaker parts. Well, I think you give more care and concern to those that are not as knowledgeable, to those that are maybe have problems and issues that they're working on. Right. And instead of condemning, criticizing, and accusing, you right. gather them in and try to encourage them and love them and um, show them the right way through Scripture. Right. Amen. Yep. And encourage them. Yep. And this next part is geared toward those in society more. <coughs> Go to Ephesians chapter six. Where verse, at? Ephesians chapter six. Yep. Verses one to one to three. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. 
Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with you, and you may live long on the earth. And I want to give a comment to that as well. You know, many of you may have, you know, heard the stories and things, but how teachers are are having to send children to the office and you know basically they just don't get any discipline i want to i want to say something to you children that are listening teaching is already a tough enough job and i would encourage you to obey your mom and dad and you know there's a reason that god put parents in this world because you can't do this on your own and and they you know it's it's just like i was talking about pastors you know pastor judy and pastor mickey are my spiritual mom and dad and if i try to live this life on my own i tell you I've done that, you know, like, I mean, sure, I'd ask questions and stuff, but, you know, if I were to do that all my life, what would happen if I felt condemned about something or had questions about something? If I didn't trust them enough to say, hey, I I have questions about this or that in the church or whatever. If I If I didn't trust them enough to ask those questions... Life would be miserable for me. And I want to go on to Proverbs chapter 30, verses 11 to 17. And it says, There is a generation that curses its father and does not bless its mother. There is a generation that is pure in its own eyes yet is not washed from its filthiness. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes, and their eyelids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are like swords, and whose fangs, and whose fangs are like knives, to devour the poor from off the earth, and the needy from among men. The leech has two daughters, Give and give. There are three things that are never satisfied. Four never say enough. The earth that is not satisfied with water and the fire never says enough. The eye that mocks his father and scorns obedience to his mother. Wait a minute. I'm missing something. You know, we got three left there. There ain't another one. Oh, well. Uh, basic. Oh, it, it says the the eagles. I think I accidentally gave the page. The the ravens will pluck their eyes out, and the eagles. Something about the eagles. Shall eat it. Yeah, yeah. shall eat it. Um, that's how dangerous it is to have pride, and that's how dangerous it is to not respect leadership and i want to challenge every person well actually first of all does anyone does anyone have any further wisdom that they would like to anything that you would like to add okay. now we're going to do a curse breaking prayer if you have not received jesus as your lord and savior I would encourage you today, the Holy Spirit is beckoning. He's beckoning you to come home, but also he's beckoning us to lay down our pride. Amen? Amen. Amen. And so I would encourage you, 
Romans 10, 9 and 10 says, If you believe in your heart that Jesus, that God raised Jesus from the dead and confess with your mouth, you are saved. Amen. And tonight, you're not promised tomorrow. Amen. And so I would encourage you, uh, everyone say this with authority. Say, Father, Father, I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. And confess with my mouth. And confess with my mouth. That you raised Jesus from the dead. That you raised Jesus from the dead. I now call you my Lord and Savior. I now call you my Lord and Savior. Forgive all of my sins. Forgive all of my sins. Even as I forgive those. Even as I forgive those. Who have sinned against me. Who have sinned against me. Satan. Satan. I bind you this day. I bind you this day. In the name. In the name. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the authority I have in Jesus Christ. By the authority I have in Jesus Christ. I rebuke and destroy. I rebuke and destroy. The power of every ancestral curse. The power of every ancestral curse. Directed against me. Directed against me. I break any and all vows. I break any and all vows. Oaths. Oaths. Blood covenants. Blood covenants. Rituals and ceremonies. Rituals and ceremonies. I renounce all sorcery. I renounce all sorcery. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. False gods. False gods. False religion. False religion. And all curses of death. And all curses of death. Destruction. Destruction. Murder. Murder. Violence. Violence. Abandonment. Abandonment. Rejection. Rejection. Abuse. Abuse. Perversion, perversion, infirmity and disease, infirmity and disease. I declare this. I declare this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In so doing, in so doing, I ask now that you would baptize me. I ask now that you baptize me in the Holy Spirit and fire. In the Holy Spirit and fire. Sealing our intimate relationship. Sealing our intimate relationship. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now let's let's pray in the Spirit in agreement. The Lord says to you, Arise out of the ashes. Arise as an army. I am breathing life into you. I am breathing, I am bringing my power to you. And Lord, I just thank you, Lord, right now. Yes, God. Hallelujah. That me and all of those listening that are in my generation, Father, we are an army. Yes. We are not entitled. Yes. We are not proud. But yes. Lord, we are. And the army of the living God, we are chosen yes. and appointed by God. Yes. And Lord, I just speak. I just speak. Oh, you, you don't have to repeat. I just speak by the authority of Jesus Christ that Satan will not bind us by pride Hallelujah. any Amen. longer. Amen. And we yes. thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Good job. Amen. Good prayer, Titan. You've been a good preacher. Oh. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Design for Victory podcast or this video on YouTube. Now, if you would like to know, basically to sum it up, on YouTube, below or above the, if you scroll down to where it says something like recommended or listenable uh you want to go up there if you want to comment something you can do that there on the so it'll say add a public comment and then above that you'll have your thumbs up comment and share buttons and below the video you uh below the picture that you see on the video you should see a subscribe button hit that if you if you're so inclined and and then to the right of that you can hit the bell and it'll say all personalized or none and if you would like to get notified 
a future episode and future videos, um, feel free to hit that. This also helps the algorithm to push this out to more people. So, for those of you that are on the podcast, speaking mainly for Spotify, you can just go to uh, see all episodes, hit that button, go to the top, and you'll you'll see the cross, and then below the cross, it'll say follow podcast, you can hit that, and then hit, to the right of that, there's a notifications button. Uh, I think it'll say like notifications disabled and you'll want to enable that. And the as to sharing and rating the show, I don't want to keep you long. Uh, both of these options you'll see like a, uh, I think a like, download more options. You'll want to hit the more options. Both of these options can be found there. And to rate the show, just you know, uh, just give it whatever star rating you want. And I think they have a place where you can write a review. It's been so long since I've rated a podcast, but um, feel free to write us a review as to how you like it or what you know, dislike it, whatever. And also, feel free. On this one, you know, we're doing, like I said previously, we're doing something different tonight. And this night is more designed, it's like the older generation mentoring the younger. So, any of you that have any comments that you would like, any advice or anything you would like to give, feel free to do so. And... Also, we welcome your testimonies. Just anything, any comments that you would like to give. And I forgot to mention this too. Those of you that are on YouTube or even Spotify, any of this that you do, if you are not listening, like say someone embedded this podcast on a on a blog or something, and you don't have an account, you will need to sign up for for a Spotify account. Uh, in order to follow this podcast. And the same with YouTube. You'll need to to sign up or sign in with uh, YouTube in order to comment or... I think you can comment you're not in, uh, anonymously, but you won't be able to, like, sh- you know, subscribe. If, you know... And so I thought I would let you know just and we will see you oh there's something I forgot but there's another podcast I I may have mentioned this I can't remember and I apologize apologize if I did but I would encourage you to look up the Blind Exorcist podcast and you know, if you enjoy listening to podcasts. But this, um, he's my friend, but I don't share it because he's my friend. I share it because of how relatable the content is. It is so, like, I was listening as a, as an outsider. And... It was so relatable that I thought, yes, people are going to love this. And so that's, that's the reason I share this is for your freedom. And so, like I said, you can find it on Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and just wherever you can get your podcasts. And so. Also Pastor Mickey has a YouTube channel called Storm Minister 54. S-T-O-R-M. 
M I N I S T E R 54. And that's his YouTube channel. And if you'd like to check that out. And next Sunday, actually, be this coming up Sunday, he will also be preaching at our church. If you would like to stop by this podcast or this YouTube channel again and check it out. Thank you all very much. And God bless. Voice over on. Speech off.